Welcome to The Nexus Client by Iron Realms Entertainment. I'm Matt Mahaley, the founder and CEO of the company. This client is packed with features, and this video will go over many of them for you. This is the output window. New output will appear from the bottom and scroll up. You can see your scroll back by using the page up and page down keys, by using your mouse wheel, or by clicking on the button in the upper right of the client. This is the input line and is where you input most of your commands. Above that are your F key buttons, which come pre-filled, but which you can change or add more of in the settings menu, which is accessed from the gears icon in the lower right. We'll cover this in a different video though, as the settings window has quite a lot to it. Above that, you'll see indicators for health and some other stats, depending on which of the Iron Realms games you're playing. Next to that, to the left, are the balance and equilibrium indicators. To the right of these is a selectable character portrait. You can select one of ours or use one of your own. In MUDs, your character is always in a room. A room could be anything from a bedroom to a big section of forest. You can type look or just L to see the name and description of the room you're currently in, or you can see them in the room panel to the upper right. Rooms have exits from them, like north, southwest, up, down, in, and out, and you can see which exits exist from this room here in the map. You can move by typing abbreviated direction names like NW for northwest, E for east, and so on. You can also simply double-click on a room on the map to walk to it. There are also many other ways to get around in-game, including the popular landmark system. Just type Help Landmarks in-game to find out more. As you move around the map, you'll see some exits that show as arrows. These lead to adjacent areas, and for various reasons, you can only see the rooms in the area you're in on the map. Below that is the character window. As you get damaged, your limbs, body, and head will change colors, although not all of our games have this concept. To the right of that are a bunch of icons representing different common defenses that your character might temporarily have active. You can mouse over them to see their names and get more info in-game. Below that, you'll see other kinds of information, as well as a complete list of the afflictions and defenses you have. The Skill tab will show you your skills and let you drill down into the individual abilities you have as well. Our games have huge numbers of diverse abilities to play with. The Inventory tab shows your inventory, unsurprisingly, and you can manipulate items in various ways by clicking on them. The Room tab shows you information about the room that you're in, as well as what's in it with you. For instance, here you can see the name of the room, and if you expand this, you'll see its description as well. Below that, you'll see players, mobs or NPCs, and the items that are in the room with you. Then you have the Who tab, which will show you who's online in the game, at least those that you're able to see. You can also just type Who in game. There are many ways to hide yourself from other players, however, so this won't show you all the players in the game. Once you belong to various organizations, like cities, houses, or religious orders, you'll be able to see who's online from those organizations in this tab as well. Under that, you've got the communication window, which will echo all communication from the main window. Many people find this nice because it's easy to miss communication in the quickly scrolling text of combat, for instance. In the settings window, which is the little gears icon in the lower right, you can also choose to only have communication show up in that window and not the main window at all if you prefer. You can add other communication tabs by right-clicking and then selecting them under the Channels submenu. You've also got the Tasks window here, as well as the Quest window. However, it looks like I don't have any quests currently. Finally, we have the bottom bar. Here you've got the Help button, which will take you to our site full of documentation about this client. Your level indicator is here, along with your golden hand and gold in your bank account, and your current ping to the game, which is a measure of how fast your connection to the game is. Lower numbers are better here. On the bottom bar, you also have the target icon, which will show your currently selected target. Along with in-game methods of setting a target, help target will tell you more, you can also tab through non-player targets in a room or even just click on one of them. Over here, you'll see indicators telling you that you have new messages or new news. You can simply click on them to bring up your messages or to bring up the news. You'll see a time of day indicator, which you can mouse over. And then here you'll see some various options. Going from left to right, you can go to full screen mode, which we're in right now. You can toggle logging of the output window on or off, toggle scripts on or off, access the settings window, which is the subject of some other videos as it's quite extensive. And finally, an icon that will reset your screen to the default setup in case something goes wrong. Now, what if you don't wanna see some of these elements? For instance, say you don't care about the F keys or the gauges. Good news, you could just turn them off. Right-click anywhere in the client to access these options, like so. You can turn tabs on and off here, too. But wait, there's more. 
You don't need to feel restricted to this window layout. You can change it yourself. For instance, say you wanted to change which window a particular tab is in. It's easy. Just click and drag it to another tab, like this. What if you want to see more tabs at once and don't mind windows overlapping? No problem. Right-click on a tab and select Unpin Tab. Unpin tabs are floating windows that you can click-drag around your screen. You can resize a floating window by just dragging from the lower right-hand corner. To rejoin a tab to a window, click-drag on the tab on top of the window and drag it to an existing window. The only downside to using floating windows is that they won't automatically resize with you if you resize your browser window, like the predefined windows will. This combination of options lets you really customize your layout, and best of all, it'll be saved across devices. For instance, here's a three-column view with a big map and a big communication log. Here's a two-column view using floating windows that gives you a huge map and still enough output window space to work with. As you can see, the Nexus client is very capable, but we've really just scratched the surface here. Dive into the settings menu to learn all about the configuration options, as well as both our unique simplified scripting and the JavaScript-based advanced scripting options. You might also be interested in trying this client out from your iOS or Android tablet or mobile phone. There are some options and capabilities that are built in specifically for mobile use, such as swiping left and right to go between columns and movement buttons that will appear in the upper right. Well, that's about it for now. I hope you found this video helpful in getting started with Nexus and with the worlds of Iron Realms. Farewell, and see you in game.